All right, so back in 2021, uh, Pixelcraft and Broke Studio, I believe it's 2021, um, gave us the adventures of Panzer on the NES, which, uh, which I've covered on the channel. Um, this has been a long time coming. <laughs> I've been waiting on this for quite some time. Um, last month, um, actually I believe it was actually earlier this month, if I'm not mistaken, um, I received The Adventures of Panzer II on the NES, uh, courtesy of Brook Studio and Pixelcraft. Um, <laughs> I know I've covered the ROM version of this, and I mentioned in that video, I believe, that I was, that I was going to likely cover the physical version, and it's it's here. <laughs> And this is just oh man, this is such a good game. All right, let's let's go ahead, let's go ahead and go over everything this comes with, and uh, unbox it and take a look at some gameplay. All right, so of course we have the game, but we're actually going to go ahead and take a look at what else it comes with. So it came with a awesome Panzer pin and a Broke Studio sticker. I'm not going to take those out. But if you want to see what the sticker looks like, looks like that. <laughs> and then it came with a gr awesome poster. I'm going to go ahead and actually pause this and zoom out here. Actually, hang on a second. Okay. Excuse the table. But this is the poster. Pretty pretty awesome poster pretty awesome poster okay let's go ahead and get back into it here okay so it also came with the official soundtrack and yeah, I think this is actually bigger than the original soundtrack but I love the way this looks I love the artwork it, it looks like a, a retail quality soundtrack and it should it should. It looks really, really good. Almost like something you'd see like in a, in a music store. Pretty awesome. Or like in a GameStop or a, you know, uh, electronics boutique back in the day. Pretty, pretty awesome. All right, let's go ahead and unbox the actual game here. And I'm going to actually adjust my camera just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we're going to unbox this here. So two out. Out of the box here. Okay, we've got the manual. I put the manual in the back just because I like to store the manual in the back. Game pack instructions. Again, I love how these retro indie games, their manuals are in full color. I love it. You wouldn't see that back in the day very often. So I love the fact that you've got the, the power ups, you've got the uh, the the uh, character bios, their their abilities, pretty awesome stuff. Really, really love this manual. And they have all the non-player characters. You got the credits. So pretty, pretty awesome, awesome little manual. And you have the actual game itself. I love. I just I love the way this looks. Pretty awesome. Okay, so now that we're in box two, let's take a look at some, some gameplay here. So that was a look at the Adventures of Panzer II on the NES. 
I want to thank Pixelcraft and Brook Studio for sending this my way for review. Um, very happy to have this in my collection. <laughs> you know, I have I've, I've a huge fondness for uh, for retro indies that are NES games and most recently uh, Game Boy games. So, I'm very happy to have this in my collection. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's a great game. It's definitely hands down better than the original uh, in a lot of ways. It's a sequel done right. And one definitely that should be experienced either physically um, if you can find it, um, or, uh, via ROM. So, um, if this is available physically still, by the time you guys see this video, I will leave a link to purchase the game physically, um, in the description. If not, I will leave a link to get the ROM, so you have a way to, to play either way. Um, this is so awesome. So, so again, uh, thank you Pixelcraft and Brook Studio for sending this. For a view, and um, I want to thank you for watching. Here's Framing, and so is the next time. Take care and happy gaming.